The funny, the the most, uh, the funniest thing is that eating meat and the animal proteins helped us develop, like our and and come to a, the point in our consciousness of where we are, because it helped develop the brain rapidly, which is the funniest thing. Well, that's thing. actually a controversial theory. Is it? Yeah, because it doesn't work that way with other predators. I mean, jaguars don't have big uh, brains. Yeah, that's true. You know, uh, and by the way, but that was that theory. Over. That theory, I believe, was formulated before they realized how many monkeys chimpanzees eat. Mm. You know, they didn't realize yeah, how true. how fucking ruthless and violent chimps really were mm -hmm. until they started doing some studies. I forget the 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 um the guy's name who ran the show it was like a BBC show, but he was the first one to get footage of chimps eating monkeys, and I think that was in the nineties. Mm. So I think these ideas that they had about that yeah. there was just two there's two other theories. One of them is a the throwing arm, and that when people develop the ability to throw mm -hmm. things. That that sort of like kicked off our evolution because mm -hmm. we started killing things that mm -hmm. were far far away from us. Yeah. And we started getting better at hunting. Mm -hmm. and we thrived, and as we thrived, we got a little bit more confidence, and we started like thinking about things more. Yeah. It's like that: the more calm you can get, the more control over your environment, mm -hmm. the more you have free time to yeah. think about shit because you're not always fighting off jaguars mm -hmm. and all these different things. So mm -hmm. we figured out how to do things like throw spears, mm -hmm. throw rocks. You know, mm -hmm. that's one theory. That's mm -hmm. another theory. The other one is psychedelics. The mm -hmm. other the other one is psychedelic yeah, mushrooms, yeah. and that's the most controversial one, but really the most fascinating one. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, Terence McKenna's stoned ape theory. And this theory is that somewhere in, along the line, and this is the undisputable fact, somewhere along the line, the human brain size doubled over a period of two million years. And that is, in the entire fossil record, the most confusing thing, like mm -hmm. more than anything. Like they're like, well, how does this happen? Like it's weird for any organ to grow mm -hmm. double the size, but the most spectacular organ as far as creating things on the planet is in no question the brain the human brain is i mean we alter our environment we create nuclear bombs i mean yeah. beyond beyond a doubt it all happens supposedly inside this area and this area doubled mm -hmm. in two years well it's coincidentally also the same time that the uh the rainforest receded in the grasslands there was a climate change and terence mckenna's theory is that monkeys were forced or lower primates were forced to come out of the trees and experiment mm -hmm. with new food sources because the rainforests were gone mm -hmm. and these animals that were in this once lush tropical environment had to adapt to this new environment and one of the things they did was there was a lot of cows that were eating the grass and they would flip over cow turds looking for bugs and that's the best place for cubensis yeah, mushrooms yeah, to grow yeah. so these cubensis mushrooms would grow in this cow shit and these these chips and those whatever the fuck they were you know lower yeah. primates australopithecus yeah. whatever the fuck yeah, it was yeah. they would eat these mushrooms and the idea is twofold. One, that there was a, a direct increase in their ability to see things. Because you, when you eat psilocybin, especially in mm -hmm. low doses, it increases your visual acuity. Mm -hmm. And the other thing was that it would give them this sort of community, like loving atmosphere, protecting atmosphere, and that would also aid in their less conflicts. The less conflicts that they had would aid in their innovation, you know, just like with the other thing. And also, they would start having psychedelic experiences, and in large doses, these psychedelic experiences would slowly help them evolve much, much quicker and sort of figure things out that they maybe not have figured out. Mm -hmm. And the idea, the really weird part of the idea, is that they think, and this is all McKenna and a few other psychos, they think that what mushrooms are is some sort of an alien intelligence that has come here from an asteroid. Because the reason for that is there's no... Like, there's nothing that can survive in a vacuum better than spores. And we know that a bunch of shit has come here on asteroids from other planets, like mm -hmm. DNA or, mm -hmm. or, excuse me, um, like uh, 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 amino acids and the, the stuff, the building blocks for life mm -hmm. and water. Water comes on, on comets and asteroids. And we know that spores can survive in a vacuum. And the idea is that somewhere on some other planet, there was some type of a spore and it came here on an asteroid, landed, and the way it communicates with people is you eat it. Hmm. And that this is what caused human beings to evolve out of monkeys. I mean, it is one of those right, yeah. five bong hit, right. stare at space yeah. and think it through for like yeah, 10 hours. At yeah. first, it sounds totally ridiculous yeah. that, no, I, I that mushrooms, mushrooms are silly. Like, yeah. you know, but but if, is there like, I mean, like if he's one scientist or whatever that, that thinks that there's... Well, he's not even a scientist, or, really. I mean, he was, a, he was a scholar. I mean, I don't know what... He was the ethnobotanist, I think, was his, you know, his chosen yeah, So study. like if you ask any of the other thousands of scientists that would know that anything close to what he's talking about, 
talking about. No. When, when they think, all right, very he's, he's very high. Yes, sure. <laughs> well, first of all, you have to realize that as a scientist, first of all, getting behind anything that yeah. advocates a completely new direction in evolution and one based on psychedelic mushrooms, illegal drugs, yeah. that's a tough fucking sell. It, yeah. Yeah. So most scientists would never choose that as a, a, a point of study. It's just, is it like, that it's just or is it just like, no, come on. That's... Could be that. It could be that too. But it's also they discount the idea that mushrooms could be some sort of potential human evolution tool. They discount mm -hmm. that because it sounds ridiculous that an illegal drug could potentially aid in your evolution. Mm -hmm. And most of them are ignorant of the experience itself. I mean, maybe some of them have fucked around with it, had a little bit. Mm -hmm. But to have a real full-blown psychedelic experience, I guarantee you, you wouldn't discredit it. So what are